Like uh, it's the same thing. And it just fits naturally there. It's curved, just perfect. <laughs> and we have the intro audio sound for the episode. Welcome back to Privy. Privy is a podcast about bathrooms recorded this week from a very special bathroom. Um, it's not my home bathroom, but it is my home away from home bathroom. I, I don't use this bathroom too often, but I use the facilities at this location quite a bit. Um, and I am joined in this bathroom by the famous and the just all around, I mean, He's just a he's just a good looking guy. Uh, Michael Wall, you're here with me in a bathroom. Uh, how are you? I am. Yes, I am <laughs> doing well. Um, I've worked all day, so I'm hot and sweaty and tired. Yeah, I'm you are. Well. Yes, I am. Perfect. Um, well, tell. Uh, and we are we are in a bathroom that you may have just cleaned? Question mark. Did you just clean this bathroom? No. Dang it. Okay. Well. <laughs> Um, in my heart, you just finished cleaning it, um, and now I'm sitting on the toilet. So uh, tell tell me and the folks who may or may not listen to this a little bit about who you are, where you come from, where you spawn from. Uh, yeah. What's your deal, Michael? Okay. Um, I have... We're at South Albany High School. Yes. I have Home worked... Home the Red Hawks. Yes. Ka-ka, go Red Hawks. I have worked for GAPS, Greater Albany Public Schools, for this December will be 24 years. I started out at South Albany for five and a half years. This was December of 1998. I took a job at Kalapuya Middle School, head custodian there, almost 15 years, decided I would had enough, came back to South, and I've been here over a little <laughs> more than four years. So let's see, almost 24 years with the district, I've spent... My first my first job was in the grocery business. I spent 10 years in the grocery business, so that's a total of almost 34 years what out you, of 40 years so far working. What were you, what were you doing in the grocery business? I started out as yes, we called them bottle boys. Ooh. I counted bottles. This was the before they have these machines now. We counted bottles. At the time it was 5 cents a can, 5 cents a bottle. And we can, and I counted, and we counted a lot faster than those machines currently do. Yeah, forget the robots. Uh, yeah, you really got robo takeovered <laughs> on that one. Yes. Um. So a I blame I blame the Democrats. Yes. So a bottle boy. I don't know what they call the girls. I guess a bottle girl. I I don't know. Back then, they probably still called them bottle boys. We. That's my guess. Yes. And then a box boy. <laughs> guess what a box boy was. A person or a boy <laughs> who bagged your groceries. So we have um, grocery baggers. You still have a few, and I'm sure if you requested, somebody could bag your groceries. But someone bagged your groceries back in the, well, this was the 80s, even prior to that. So bottle wow. boy to box boy, and then I became a cashier. or che- A checker. We called them cashiers. I worked nights. This was before I was married. I threw freight. I could still throw freight. What what establishment was this? Um, well, this was Sentry in Malala. It's now a church. Hey, there you go. Um, you know where God closes, where 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 a Sentry closes, <laughs> God opens a church. Yes, a lot like Toys R Us and Spirit Halloween. Yes, and then I went to <laughs> Safeway in Gladstone, right off of I two hundred five. It's right. It's still there, right in the heart of Gladstone. So that's up in by Portland. Yes, ish. Okay. Yes. And I spent a few years there, and then I went to, uh, well, I was in a Bible, I, I went to Boise Bible College, just short story, long long, uh, long story short. I can tell you that some things happened in Bible College. <laughs> yes. I was one of the older students. I was 26 when I first entered, got married at 28 in Grangeville, Idaho, Wife and fa- wife's from Idaho. Yeah. Grangeville, Elk City. I'm making this a long story. That's good. Um, spent a couple years at Eastside Christian Church as the as a youth pastor. Actually, like 27 months. Whoa! Um, yeah, that's that's a considerable amount of time to work yeah. with youth. <laughs> so, long story short, I left that, but we stayed at the church. I've been at the church ever since June of 1995. Wow. 
And since December wow. of 98, I've been a custodian for the Albany School District. And the church. And the church. Uh, I'm acting head custodian, so for the summer, I'm getting the pay as a head custodian. Hey, there you go. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's cool. Is that why you're here at this, like, lonesome hour? Yes. Yeah. Come in Come in early and stay late. How, how many hours of the day today were you just here by yourself? Well, I got here at 7 a.m. Oh, actually, um, Owen went home, yeah, 3.30 and I've okay. been alone since then. Yeah. There you go. If you're like me, that's the that's the way to work is when no one's around. That's why I go into the church at 5 a.m. usually because it's quieter, mm-hmm. needless yes. to say. The phones don't ring at 5 a.m. Um, yeah, so you've been a janitor for a hot minute, a custodian, a uh, a fecal engineer. I don't know. I was a janitor for a minute, Michael, not as long of a minute as you have been. Um, do you have any like wonder stories from your janitorial <laughs> years? And remember, he has two janitorial jobs, so no one will ever know where th- these stories occur. Okay. <laughs> so, so when I was at Calipuya, there you go, head custodian, <laughs> we had a boy because yep. it was in the boys' bathroom. He was pooping on the floor. Oh, yeah. Next to the toilet. Doggy style, as they say. And I don't know. And I just don't want to imagine. And Mr. Hewitt, our then uh, assistant principal, wonderful man, uh, he and I were trying to figure it out. We couldn't figure out, well, who and why. We kind of knew the <laughs> when because I it, it got down to, okay, I was um, doing a bathroom um it's like an episode of Clue. Yeah, doing a bathroom investigation. I just <laughs> I just walk in on the bathrooms. Of course, I'm a guy, so I can walk in on the boys' oh. bathrooms anytime. So we got down to pretty much the hour it was happening. So Mr. Hewitt would check the cameras and finally found out it was a, well, this is a middle school. A delinquent. Yes. And so the reason, get this, the reason he was pooping on the floor he didn't like the sound of the toilet it was an auto flush which a lot of toilets are now yeah it was an auto flush he didn't like it you know it would flush any time that's what auto flushes do and he didn't like the noise it made and being surprised by that noise so he pooped on the floor so he opted to just pull a full doggy in the middle of the bathroom yes so and, and i would clean it up of course because i worked a day shift did anybody ever just tell this kid hey like if you just take a piece of like electrical or duct tape and stick it over that sensor while you're doing your job you're fine like it ain't going to spray you i i don't think well i know he wasn't playing with a full deck there you go you know and not all of us are and that's okay um i wonder my yeah you know so the you you wonder the person who walked in and first saw just the turd in the middle of the just bathroom. Someone had to report it, right? Another young male student, right? But so my thought is, and and I, I work with teenagers, and I know a few of them have told me that they don't like to report things that happen in that setting because they're afraid that they're going to be suspected as the culprit. Like, well, I don't want to say anything about the bathroom graffiti because then they'll think it was me. And so I'm wondering how many kids passed this loan, like leaving before it was like, hey, somebody pooped in the middle of the floor. Yeah. I don't know. But I think the it, the schools today, I think they encourage, you know, if you, you know, the posters around here, if you see something or somewhere there's somebody came up with, if you see something, say something. Yeah. And the, and the schools encourage, you know. Yeah, speak out. So I think people, you know, we encourage, you're not going to get in trouble for saying something. We're looking for the student who did that, but you're not going to get in trouble for uh, speaking out. Right, right. And that's... And that's a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. So middle school, middle school boy, deuces, middle of the bathroom floor. Um, Were you on cleanup? You were on investigation duty, but were you on cleanup duty for that? Yes. Okay. Did you do trash bag reversed, grab and pull through like a like a dog turd in a yard? Yes. Yep. Perfect. And lots of disposable paper towels and yeah. gloves, of course. You just make a pile out of it and, and kind of... I just look away. <clears throat> I personally do not have a problem. I clean up blood spills. 
Oof. Um, vomit. Poop, though. I just... I, <laughs> it, it gag... You know what gags you? You get this gagging reflex. Really? And For yeah, poo? For poop, yeah. And not... Vo- vomit or blood don't, don't do you? Correct. What about urine? Oh, no. Urine's nothing. Really? Because see, for me... It's just water. See, for me... Colored water. For me, yeah, it's just colored water. Uh, Michael Wall. Um, for me, blood is, is way worse than poo. Oh, blood's nothing. Well... I donate blood every, you know, eight, eight, nine, ten weeks, and you see blood oh. all the time. It's... Yeah. Yeah, I don't see blood that often. I definitely <laughs> see poop more than blood. Just, just saying. Well, I see leftover poop in the toilet. <laughs> Oh, I see. So you would, and does this does the poop still get you twenty four years into janitorial service? Yes, really. It, it's still and not as much, but it still affects you. Yeah. Still affects me. Yeah, yeah. Is that is surely the turd in the middle of the bathroom floor could not have been the most randy? Don't call me Shirley. Oh. Fair enough. Uh, old airplane movie, Joe. Yeah. Uh, that cannot be the worst. Um, Dookie. There was yes. same school. Yes. Someone reported it. I don't know. It, it, it happened over the weekend. Someone reported it Monday morning. It had it to be like Monday the, morning. Happened over the weekend? Outside the backside of Calipuya Middle School, there was a poop. <laughs> They're just on the and, ground? Well, it was, you know, homeless or transient oh. person. <laughs> and they reported it, and I had to. Of course, you know, I of course I I clean it up. I'm the custodian. I yeah. do all those cleanups. You don't send someone else. You send the custodian, right? And I worked the day shift, so I cleaned it up. But yeah, that didn't. That happened once or maybe twice, and that's it. Outside, really? Yeah, it was not a. It was an infrequent yeah. experience. You ever have any? You ever have any of them middle school boys just like? collaborate with each other and fill a fill a toilet bowl well i have some full toilet bowls i don't know how many boys pooped in it but yeah or they don't the toilets don't flush the auto flush the sensor can go bad but more often it's the battery it takes a battery i think weird some of these uh the urinals take double a and the toilets are c um and anyway the models we had because i remember changing them out but if the sensor, the battery goes dead, the sensor doesn't work. Yeah, they just... It just piles up. Yeah. And I don't know if it's one kid or multiple kids. One uh, <clears throat> one large child. Yes. <laughs> one very large child. <laughs> Looks like a small elephant pooped in the toilet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Um, I only say that because, uh, so Michael, I'm going to give you a scenario. Could be totally hypothetical. Could be real. Um, you walk into a boy's locker room bathroom and the, the pile of human turds has exceeded the, like, if you're looking at the toilet from the front, the pile of turds has exceeded the top of the bowl. Like it is, it is risen up out of the bowl. Um, so like, what, what, how, what are you doing on that? Well, you hope it's not an auto flush toilet. (laughs) Um, but yes. So let's say the toilet just flushes. Um, it's struggling to go down. That's what, yep. It's, um, it might be plugged, but often not. It isn't. It's just got a huge wad of TP and poop. (laughs) And so it's struggling to go down. And you, f- I flush it once or twice, and it's maybe, maybe it goes down, maybe it doesn't. So it doesn't go down. So you run and get a toilet plunger. Yes, and I, I appreciate that you've called it a toilet plunger because I know you know the difference. And um, <laughs> what else do you call it? Well, they have a sink plunger. Oh yeah, and toilet. that's the like flat bottomed yeah. toilet plunger. And in the meantime, you. Um, Pray. Have to reach in with your gloved hand. There it is. And just kind of fish around and loosen things up. Yep. The, the, the amount of TP is greater than the amount of poop. And it just, <laughs> TP will condense. It just, <laughs> yeah, it just condenses in there. And de- I guess dense, it becomes dense. And you have to fish around and. Yes, fish And if around. it's not plugged, then it goes, 
you know, of course, usually it's not plugged. It's plugged because of the amount of TP, but it's not like plugged in the trap. In the bend. In the bend. And you just reach around and loosen things up. Yeah. You root around in there. Mm Mm-hmm. With your gloved hand. Yeah. Um, Maybe with the the toilet plunger, too. You ever go with stick? You ever you ever get the plunger stick end in there and like kind of kind of bust it up a little bit? No. Okay. I, I use my hand. Her, hey, <laughs> that's a bull. <laughs> <laughs> you think I use the stick end, but no, I I go in. You probably get more. a little. You probably have more control with your hand. Yeah. 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 You like to get you, you and, know. And you, you just wonder. I just wonder in my mind what went on here. Well, was it one? Per- if it, I assume it's always one person because you go in, you close the stall door, and Allegedly. I and, and then maybe it's in the maybe it's in the gym lobby uh, bathrooms during a basketball game. So you you think, well, this isn't maybe it's an adult. Wonder <laughs> who did th- not just who, but why, who, why, how? Because I'm struggling to get this down, and you. All things go through your mind. You want the answers, and you will never know the answers. You will never ever know. There's no cameras in bathrooms. You'll never know, and you just have you ever caught the culprit though? Like, and by that I mean you come in as somebody's leaving a stall, and you go into the stall, and that, and you catch it. Um, has that ever happened? I'm sure it has, but unfortunately, it's an adult. And, well, even if it's, I'm sure I have, I know I have, but yeah. you don't confront them. And of course, if it's an adult, shame you them. don't, you don't shame them or confront them. You just, you just, oh. you don't, I don't. And you just wonder, how do you manage this? Cause you're a home? good guy. Yes. Cause I'm a good guy. <laughs> how do you manage, if they do this in a public bathroom, they probably do it at home. And it's like, well, who they cleans definitely. up your mess at home? You know, your mommy? Your, your wife? <laughs> no. <laughs> I just, there's a lot of unanswered yeah. questions out there. Yeah. And I will never know the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever, um, have you ever been vomited on during the job? No. Good. No. no I'm no. glad for you. Yeah. That's a good experience not to have had. Um, well, well very good, Michael. Uh, is there any like non- work-related bathroom stories that you want to share. These can be of your own personal life, or if you want to subject the members of your family to the horrors, um, you may. And I have the power of editing if you go, want to go back and be like, actually, that might have been a bad call. Uh, but the power of editing is a great thing, and I, I tap into it frequently. Well, usually when you go poop, it kind of like comes out in pieces or it curls up. Been I, there. I went poop once. Yep. And it was a straight poop. And there was probably eight or nine inches Sweet in the bowl. There might have been another two, three, or four you couldn't see. So we're looking at a 12 inch poop. Like a full foot. Yeah. It it's was like, like, a, it's it was, like a Subway it was, sandwich. It was, worth it was just of really a... cool. And of course, when it flushes it, you just straight down. You <laughs> it's know? like the luge. Yeah. It was just cool. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was my own experience. <laughs> One large straight turd. I don't know. Um, I enjoy going poop. Same. It, it feels good after yes. you're done. You know, you have a load and you, you feel like you, you, it's not really you're losing this much weight, but you feel like <laughs> I just lost two or three pounds and I feel great. Yeah. And it's like, man, I can go another six hours at work or whatever. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You ever Do you ever save one up for when you need to pick me up in the day? <laughs> well, I'm... Yeah, I I often busy. I'm often busy, yeah. and yeah, yeah. And then when you go, you just go. Yeah, yeah. I'm also um, when I go poop, I just go poop. I'm in there three minutes. I go poop and I'm flush hey. and wipe and flush again if I have to, and then you're regular. Wash your hands and get out. Is just, it generally solid for you? Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, that's how fortunate for you. I have I have healthy poops. Do you? How much coffee do you consume? On a daily basis. Two, three. Okay. Mm, you had to um, count, so we're already doing good. Three three cups. Okay. Are those like church cups or are those like trucker cups? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Yep. He's got one here. So that's a classic home home coffee cup. Mm-hmm. And that doesn't soften things up any for you. Mm-mm. Man. 
Well, that's fortunate. No, I have. I eat healthy. Kimberly feeds me healthy yes, food. Yes, she does cook and serve healthy food. <laughs> I can attest. Um, <laughs> I ascribe to what is described as a toddler diet. Uh, I I function well on a toddler diet, and so yeah. Like today for lunch, I had leftover chicken wings. Sometimes I long for those kind of meals. Just go buy it. But I went to Burger King last night. Do you ever... Kimberly won't hear this, I'm sure. Do you ever just go sneak a naughty food? Like, um, well, if I do, she buys it. She bought some of those cream-filled um, cookies. No, no, I'm saying like you get off work, it's 11. You're on your way oh. home and you swing through that that Burger King or Taco Bell drive through real quick. Rarely. And have yourself a quick cheeseburger on the way. Yeah. Rarely. Destroy the evidence. Um, Very rarely. Because, well, usually I'm either on my bike or my electric scooter. Oh, that is fair. So. Yeah. But very, I, more, not recently, no. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Are you still doing the Burger King like coffee subscription? No, I was never Can't. subscribed. Oh, I thought you did. No. Oh. No, and for a while I was going to Burger King quite often, but I yeah. backed way off. Panera Bread has the new greatest scam. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I, read, I told you. I read I read about it. It's it's a delicious <laughs> I I have taken Panera for their money for a month and a half now. It's great. Um any opportunity I have to really scam a chain food food chain i will um any other any other uh bathroom horrors or or just good stories so in my first this is when i first got the job my first five and a half years at south yeah um i was working a day shift i worked a day shift often because to cover for the head custodian yeah i worked a lot of day shift even though i'm swing shift now or was um when i you know i i get called to cover for head custodian so this was a day shift and i walk into the bathroom boy this is before they were remodeled so it was brick what building was that one building one okay so we're we're talking like foot thick brick walls between the bathroom stalls and there were no doors they had removed the doors because at the time they were having problems so they just took the doors off there were no doors and i walk in and i'm i'm doing bathroom so you were a day shift you inspect bathrooms of course again i can inspect the boys bathrooms at any time and do frequent bathroom inspections and i walk into this toilet in the boys bathroom building one and there's a huge poop in the toilet (laughs) and it was not only long it wasn't as long it was really wide girthsome circumference diameter like a pop can and I was flushing the toilet, and for I still remember this. I must have flushed the toilet at least six times, and finally it went down. Six times? Yes, because it was super wide, <laughs> and the, you keep it's flushing, and the turn. water breaks it up, and it was you know semi <laughs> soft. Finally, it goes down. It was. I imagine the boy was super big. Well, but here's the thing. And so now is not the time one day, but I, and I think I've told you the story of of the potato. Have I ever told you the potato story? I'm not sure. Okay. Well, when we're done recording, I'm going to tell you the story, (laughs) but, um, sometimes the people who produce those objects are skinny minis. Like, okay. I don't know how I assume it like tears something like when women give birth, there's tearing, (laughs) um, except for it's their butthole that is tearing. But like, yeah, sometimes you get like one of these like rail thin kids that really like just grunts one out. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a chode shaped like. turd and you just, here we are. Um, a lot of poop, Michael. I know there's urine in your past, but the poop is what brings you trauma. Well, Michael, I have a few questions that I ask um, everyone mm-hmm. on the show. Do it. I oh I'm oh I will. And now that you've consented, uh, the first is at, at your home. What type of toilet paper are y'all ro- like using? What What do you use? Okay, so we have um, Kirkland signature, yep. of course. In yep. fact, I just 
hold a partial roll, put it in the bathroom. So I think we're currently using Kirkland. Um, during the pandemic. Yes. The dark ages. Yeah. We went, I went to Fred Meyer. I either went to the store, or had it, you know, brought out to me. I, but I remember, yeah, well, first of all, I remember there was hardly any TP on the shelf. Uh, we, we've used <laughs> Northern. Oh yeah. Quilted Northern. And I thought about this. Who would ever name a toilet paper Northern? Where does it come from? What does it mean? I, Northern. I have no idea. I assume um, it comes from the North. But it's... it's it's And it, it wipes the South. It's a know. good toilet paper. Um, uh, Angel Soft, though, oh. I found I like. Really? I, yeah. Now, I th- might have bought in Charmin. I'm not sure. The Beautiful um, Bears. But I think it's more expensive than Yeah, anything. you you're paying for the Bears. So I like the Angel Soft. Really? And the Northern. So I think those are my. Are Angel two. Soft the one who have the strange baby as their mascot? Yes. Okay. I believe so. Interesting. <laughs> um, I've I don't think I've ever used Angel Soft. I think it's comparable to Charmin. Really? But it's it's above the Kirkland. How dare you? <laughs> That's the middle class paper of choice. And and the Northern is middle class. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like that. So. But Angel Soft is your well. I have choice. Uh, yeah, right now we have plenty. We won't buy any for a while. But yeah, definitely Angel Soft. But I have on my Amazon saved list. Okay. And just I'm curious. Is and it I'm, that bamboo stuff? Yeah, yeah. I haven't bought it yet, but I just want to buy it and try it because I'm always curious about trying different things. Yeah. And I'm not like okay, I'm not like an environmentalist, but I would just do it because you're a little bit. Because I enjoy doing things differently or buying different things. Um, yeah. Titus. And, and, and I understand it might be, it's not the softest, but you know, you're getting it from bamboo, which is, and grows I, faster than a tree, I guess. Titus reports is good. He said mm-hmm. he used it um, and that it's kind of thin, but yet durable somehow, mm-hmm. um, which I don't understand that. So it's still on my saved list. I haven't purchased. See, anything that, markets itself on thinness for toilet paper i'm afraid that i'm just gonna hole punch myself and Mm -hmm. like get a finger full of weird uh and i that's just you gotta tread lightly on that okay and then so when you guys put a roll on the roll out uh, out out so it has to fold over the top yes so why do you believe that's the case okay so um (laughs) if you put it in it makes either hugs or makes close contact with the wall so um the and then when you go to grab it your fingertips are going to grab might rub the wall so you're scraping your fingers or fingertips on the wall and also going out and then going out it puts it you know two three maybe four inches closer to you and that might make a difference depending upon where your roll is located on the wall Okay, so and yeah, I have a just, lot of follow it's, it's just right, the right it, way. Well, so <clears throat> the you are not the first person to tell me that if it's backwards, it's bad because your fingers will hit the wall. And to which I said, <laughs> how aggressively are you going in for this paper that you're hitting your hand on the wall? <laughs> like <laughs> you're grabbing for the paper to wipe your bum bum. <laughs> uh, and then the other part is. Four inches it makes the it's, difference, huh? It's a jumbo roll. It's a yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think just lean over. Um Anna my wife. She also believes that it needs to go over. I'm i con- I heard. Yeah, I'm convinced it doesn't matter. Uh but Well, it may not matter, but that's what we do. And yeah. Industry standard. Mm-hmm. Do you ever do you ever get crazy and do the weird like hotel bathroom fold? Like to fold the little corner on the toilet paper? No. <laughs> Fair enough. I never did as a janitor either. Why? Yeah. Literally nobody will notice it. Um, <clears throat> when you when you wipe, are you folding or crumpling? Folding. Folding. Perfect. And is it a fold or are you rolling it like a glove? Oh, it's a fold. Fold. Perfect. You're it 
the sign of an organized mind. Um, how many squares would you estimate you're using in that fold? Uh, okay, I use a lot. You do? No, Michael. Yes. Okay, so these. How like, much is a lot? I never counted. Is it more than six? Yes. Oh my gosh. How does someone use only like four or five or six squares? So if I'm wiping in my home, unless it's a particularly wet job, um, which happens frequently, I can get by with three on Whoa. every wipe. Wow. Uh, and you just kind of have to <laughs> manage the, the thing. But like if I'm out and about, I, I, I use as much as I need because mm -hmm. it ain't mine. I ain't buying it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's thin. So you just you just get a pile of it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't everybody? I no, I don't. Oh, okay. I oh man, you're really cruising through the paper. Yeah. During the days when we were when you told me the church was switching paper, I, I'll tell you what I we was, use quality Angel Soft toilet paper at Eastside Christian Church. We do now. Yes. We did not before. We did not. And when you said that we had the approval to swap over, man, I was making a stack to wipe with. Like, I was using that paper so quick. I was like, yep. Just roll a big, like, wad of it and get it back there. Cool. Well, you didn't crumple, which is good. Um, it's a scary thought to have crumpled your paper. Um, when you, in the shower specifically, are you a bar soap or a liquid soap? guy bar bar so bar wow are you are you using the irish spring green bars no i'm using whatever kimberly bought and or made <laughs> or, or made. made let's be honest whatever sometimes she makes it though doesn't <laughs> or she? got from a gift or somebody had too much soap and she ended yeah. up with soap or, or she went out and rendered fat from an animal and mixed <laughs> it with ash herself something like tell that. me she's never done it <laughs> She's never done it. That can't be true. <laughs> I'm certain Kimberly has made her own soap at some point. I'm a bar. Bar. So. Something to grab onto. Okay. It. it, it there it, is a um, bottle that the liquid comes in. But it's plastic and you. Yeah. Do you, it's, yeah. And you just run that bar all over your body. Do you go bar straight on the skin or do you put it in like a cloth? Straight on the skin. Really? Yeah. Wow. Bar to man, man to bar. Do you, does, okay, and feel free to say, hey, stay out of my shower. Um, but do you and Kimberly have separate bars? Um, no. Um. Oh I, my gosh. I don't think so. So you're, so you're sharing bars. Well, she has, okay, there's like 12 bottles of stuff in our shower. Oh my gosh. So when, when, when David and Bethany lived there. Um, even after David moved out, so it was the three of us, there were like 19 bottles of, and, Dear and like Lord. 17 were store bought and there were two unmarked. So one had vinegar in it and the other had something else in it. So 17, basically 16 or 17 were store bought. What are you, what are you doing with vinegar in your shower? Well, Kimberly is, well, um, what I is think she it's doing vinegar. With it? You rinse with it or wash with it or something. It's a, I don't know. Yeah. It's washed. It's watered down. I think it's one part vinegar. I think what I'm learning water. is I need to talk to Kimberly too. That's what I'm learning. <laughs> so uh, right now I think we have 11 or 12 bottles and maybe 10 are like a store bot. They have a label on them and what they say they have what? in them, they have in them. And they're all soap? Well, no. Conditioner, shampoo. That's um, a lot of bottles. A, a body wash. Right. You, I, and you don't use any of those? I use one for my hair. hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I use yeah. a shampoo. And then I have my own beard wash and beard conditioner, which I don't keep in the shower. Right. Um, which so is shampoo, the... and then I use the bar soap. Bar soap. Okay. Huh. It's a healthy smelling bar soap, whatever it is. Yeah. I'll, I'll have to ask uh, Kimberly what she's getting for you for bar soap. Do you ever carve little messages into the bar soap and leave them for your wife to find? Never. Are you going to now that I've introduced that idea to your life? <laughs> Probably like, not. Like prison, just like itching a bar, bar for messages. Just... Like, I heart you with yeah. a heart. <laughs> yeah. How often do you drop the bar of soap when you're in the shower? Every time. Just about. <laughs> Literally yeah. every time I use it. Yeah. <laughs> 
every time. <laughs> every time. And it's slippery. <laughs> oh, it's slippery when wet. Um. Wow, uh, Michael, how do you feel about baths? I I don't like baths. Yeah, I'm a shower guy. Tell me why you don't yeah. like baths. Um. You're in stationary, standing water. Stagnant. Stagnant. And yes. pretty soon it get. I mean, it gets dirty. Now, you can shower first and then enjoy a bath. I've you know, once or twice in my life maybe done that. But I'm a, I'm a shower person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Standing up. Yeah. With, with or without my wife. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Uh, <laughs> um, how the shower. Yes, the, the shower. Yeah. The bath. Anyway, um, I agree with former guest Sam Bagenstoss. The bath is a one-person experience. There's not enough room for two. <laughs> not in a standard tub. Not in a standard tub. Um, okay, so no baths, but it can be relaxing. What do you do to relax? Like, how does Michael chill out? Outside the bathroom, you mean? Where, yeah, it was wherever. <laughs> I mean, or in the bathroom. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. I have a, I don't know if it's a lazy boy. I call it a lazy boy recliner, and I'm and I'm in that when I'm relaxing. There you go. Uh, it's an electric, so it has a push button. It's the nap zone. It's the nap zone. Perfect. Mm-hmm. I've also watched you nap a lot of places. So, <laughs> um, yes. Uh, so uh, on the topic of showers, I have a number of questions related to a shower. The first is, have you ever taken a dark shower? It is exactly what it sounds like. It's a shower with the lights off. Yeah, in the if if I shower in the morning, um, I don't. I just run the fan. I don't run the. I like yeah because like summertime, it stays longer. Yeah, lighter longer. Well, no matter what season, well, yeah. no matter what day, I'm in the shower and no lights, just the fan going. And I don't like the lights because usually you're still half asleep and you don't need the artificial light. Right. You'll get that soon enough. And our bathroom has a window. Okay. And the smoked window type yeah. thing, you know. Do you ever do you ever do you ever take one when it's dark out without the lights on? Like it is dark in there. If I'm up early enough. So you so uh, Or you, up late enough? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, uh, all do I do is like run it? the fan. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. Me too. No artificial lighting. Yeah. It it's it's actually you talk about relaxing. It's very calming and relaxing. You re, you have to run the well. You basically have to run the fan because mildew steam. Yeah. So you run the fan, which is soothing too. It's just a low hum. Yeah. And then no lights. It's like just, white noise. It's mm-hmm. Yeah. And the shower water, and it's no lights. It's dark or semi-dark. Sensory deprivation chamber. And it's just very relaxing. I agree. Mm-hmm. Um, Michael, have you ever eaten or drank a drink or snack in the shower? Not eaten? No. What about um, a drink? Drink. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Maybe? I don't remember. I don't well, recall. You're getting ready to go home here in a little bit. Uh, it might not be a bad time to try it out. Grab yourself a cold one, a, a, a soda, and and just hit it in the shower. Apparently, it does it. I'll probably end up going pee then. Yeah, just pee in the shower. Yeah. That's right. Um, yes, I have done that. I do that. Yeah. yeah. You just, do you aim so, for your feet? What? Do you aim for your feet? No. Because I always try to get my feet when I'm doing it. Negative, no. You're just right in the bottom. Mm-hmm. So to me, that's it just I, to, washes right down. I always feel like I'm wasting it though. Like if I don't hit my feet, I wasted it. <laughs> there has to be some sort of medicinal benefit of. Um, Michael, would you ever eat an orange in the shower like you eat an apple? No, no, I don't eat in the shower. Have you ever eaten or drank anything on the toilet? Mm, no. Really? No. no, I stay focused. When I when I go to the bathroom, I go to the bathroom. You know, he's got his eye on the prize. I enjoy the time, but it's like, well, pee is like you know, however long it takes. You wash your hands, and you're out, and then you you poop. Like I said, three minutes. Yeah, and I enjoy the time, but I don't linger there. Right. Um, you can enjoy something whether it's three minutes or thirty minutes. I lean towards the three minutes. Yeah. Do you take your phone into the bathroom with you? Yes. For pooping? 
Um, yeah, it's usually on me or I'm carrying do, it in my pocket. Do you ever, do you play on your phone while you're pooping? No. See, I'm convinced this is the secret to you only spending three minutes in the, in the bathroom because mm-hmm. the teens and the, the youths of today, that's like bat, that's like phone time. Uh, well, I would have a concern or fear of it falling in the toilet yes and it happens yes. um most of them lean enough far enough forward and like hold it out i say that because i've performed that action but i've actually held my phone while i was peeing which is difficult and then i realized what are you doing because yeah, that one's dangerous it could fall in the toilet so i don't i quit you know you yeah just, that i don't want that to happen that's dangerous yes uh you're you're playing with fire yes. water in that uh michael have you ever, let's say you you get in the shower and the urge to poop hits you. You've got to purge one. I what, st- what do you do? I step out. So do you turn the water off? No, I leave it running. I take the shower head and tilt it down. And, yeah, you aim it. And um, I just leave it running because, yeah, you, you step out and you're all wet. And um, I just sit on the toilet and you go and then do you, you Do you flush sit on the and- toilet dripping wet? Uh, yeah. Wild it, move. Yeah. It doesn't, I mean, it's rarely happened, but if it does, yeah, you just step out real quick and then, um, do your <laughs> duty and step back in the shower. Um, under any circumstances, would you ever perform a waffle stomp? Uh, a waffle stomp for those who don't know is where you poop into the bottom of the shower and then stomp your own turd to make it go down the drain. N- no. Have, okay. But have you ever done it out of necessity? No. Would you do it? No. You would always get out of the show. What if what if emergency diarrhea happens? No, I'd step out. Yeah. But you run the Make risk a, of doing it on the floor. It's like if you feel like vomiting, you run to the toilet no matter where yeah, you are. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Um yeah. w- would you poop into your hand, catch it and toss that into the toilet from where you're at? No. Would you perform that or the waffle stomp first? Um, <laughs> my hand first. <laughs> really? Yeah. You'd go for the hand grab and toss. Well, if you let it fall down, no, I change. If you let it fall down in the tub, then you just scoop yeah. it up with TP. I'd do that. Okay. So you, you're doing the like cat poop, you know, I pooped in the litter box and I'm going to come back and clean it later. Yes. Got I'd it. Do that. Even. Uh, yeah. But the drain's right there. Mm-mm. If you add enough water to any solid, it becomes it's, a liquid. Yes. <laughs> that's fact that's science yeah. um okay well you're a clean and an ordered person um what what are some bathroom pet peeves that just said <clears throat> that you walk into the bathroom and you're like dang it again this is happening again um people don't flush a second time or maybe it's a third time there's a little bit of residue. Just flush it again. <laughs> so you're looking. So the next person is looking down at basically half cold, a turd, cold, clear water. Yeah, if you yeah, you you walk in and you're just residue, poop residue, TP residue, a little bit, just a second flush or a third flush or whatever it takes. Yeah. So the next person is looking down at a cold, clear bowl of water. Yeah. The um, as I understand it, there there. Are, a number of culprits of this act that attend the the Friday night young adults crew that need and I have mentioned to them they need to figure this straight out. Um, well, they use the urinal and they don't know how to I, flush the urinal. They I come in Saturday morning and it's dark. It's, yeah, they need to be hydrated too. A handle, yeah, it's dark yellow. That's and I don't know if that's good. one pee or multiples, but drink a lot of water and flush. And um, flush. Yeah. I can see that the residue left in the toilet. That'd be frustrating. The only thing that gets me though is sometimes you flush and it's one of those toilets that takes forever to reload. Like the shirt, like Claude Call toilets. Yeah, specifically the right one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the big there's, stall. There's slow the one and I flushing. don't use. I've actually been using the library bathroom. Uh, it's a quick flush. It's a quick new flush, toilet. new toilet, mm-hmm. private zone. It doesn't lock, but I'm there at 5 a.m., so I'm good. Perfect. Um, any other pet peeves? Uh, yeah, at work, at, at school here. Oh, here we go. Um, you've got staff. I know it's staff. It's the 
boys it's locker the staff room. bathroom it's the staff bathroom in the boys locker room it's the men's bathroom office what are they doing somebody's going poop and they're like shooting it out and there's um dried on i have photographic evidence on my phone of this phenomenon dried on pooping yes and it must harden pretty quick yes it takes a lot to get that off yes. even with a scrubby sponge and michael i i what you're saying is verified 100 percent true <laughs> because i took a photo at this location of the underside of a bathroom and i went what in the freaking heck are we doing like when you know you've shotgunned it, just wipe it when yeah. you're done because it's yeah. wet then. Like, yeah. don't let it dry. Yeah. Or if it's in the bowl, just flush it quick or, yeah, yeah. wipe it. Take TP and wipe it and then flush even, it. What about those grease marks that people leave? How you, how you feel about those? Well, those soften up after time. And hopefully, like, if you work a swing shift, by the time you flush it, they'll soften up and they'll go down. They work themselves out. They work themselves out. Yeah. Yes. What about at your home? Do you have any pet peeves at your house that you'll get in trouble for sharing here? <laughs> just we're Puts a one on blast. we're a one bathroom house, so just the length of time that Kimberly. Yeah. But I've become mo- much more patient, so yeah. I just wait. And, and I think, and you know, we're both married, and we'll we'll take the grief that we earn. But I think women generally take a little longer in the bathroom as mm-hmm. a whole, and that's fine. But you live pretty close to your, you know, you could always go to, I don't know. If I had to go to the church. Drive to the church and go to the, I've and go I've probably poop. done that. Yeah. Oh, I've definitely emergency stopped the church. Yeah. Like when I get off work or something and I'm like, oh, I got to go to Salem, but I'm not going all the way to my house. I'll just mm-hmm. swing in the church, mm-hmm. poop. Yeah. It's I've nice even done it keys. to the gym. I've done it to the gym on the way out of town. I park, scan my badge, run in, go, and hop back in the car. It's nice to have keys to your jobs that you have access to toilets. Yeah. Um, well, Michael, uh, I have one more question, and that is, what is the fast food or regular food establishment that does you the dirtiest? Just fouls you up. Gives mm. you, the, gives you the, the tummy bubbles. I don't know, but I would probably have to say like any taco establishment. Yeah. Riga Squirtos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ate it. Hey, so I'm not trying to. Riga, Riga Burtos exist for a reason. It's not for oh. me to eat at. Um, I, I'm not that. They don't even mess me up. Anna and I ate there for the first time this week. Probably last time. Uh, because it's been a minute since I've had a authentic Mexican restaurant not get nachos square like um yeah anyway uh that's not what we're here for so Michael thank you for doing this I have a question you should a future question you should ask okay you might get asked it right now but what brand or whatever they call it model or brand name of toilet do you have in your bathroom or bathrooms I'm adding it to the list as you so we currently have an American Standard toilet, and it's, you, and it's comparable to that toilet that's in the conference room of Claude Hall at the church. It's a fast flusher. It's a, I call it the recovery time. When you flush, how many seconds does it take for the toilet yes. bowl? So, the one, so yeah, I've, I've seen two or three minutes of toilets that take a long time. It's unacceptable. Yeah. Uh, again, that probably fills in 20 seconds. Ours probably is about 20 to 30 seconds refill time. Yeah. So you, I can, so the, you go poop, you flush and while it's refilling, you wipe. And by the time it's done, I'm done wiping and you flush again. Oh, so you're a two flush every time type guy. Definitely. You're, so you courtesy flush every flush. Yeah. I oh. believe if you need to flush, I don't care how many times you need to flush, just flush more so than once. Don't, every single, don't do it in one flush. Every single time I go to the bathroom, the only time I'm flushing before wiping has happened is if it's been a disaster situation and I'm scared uh, to leave it longer. But usually I'm like, but yeah, I like, I do everything, wipe, everything is done. I stand up and then the flush happens. And there's usually one flush. Unless you've got the tummy bubbles and then there's th- three to five sometimes. Um, I, I guess because I use a lot more TP, I have that's, to flush twice. Yeah. You, it makes sense. You, he's scared for what might happen if he doesn't. <laughs> um, And ours is like a... They got... The low flush toilet now is like 1.2 gallons, which that, is incredible. 
Anna and I were in Home Depot or Lowe's. It's the same thing. Just yeah. one, one likes <laughs> veterans more. Yeah. Um, but we were we were at one of those places, and they had a toilet that they claimed would flush like seven billiard balls, like pool oh, balls. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. At Home Depot, I saw the toilet. I, or tennis balls or billiard balls. Yeah, yeah it's and, able to, as I, long as your, well, your sewer line's bigger, so it'll handle yeah. it. But the pipe, it can, it's got the force, the whatever. The S-bend. Mm-hmm. See, yeah, ours is a power, like a power flush. It's it's a residential toilet, but it's like this is cool. It blasts it down, huh? Yeah, I mean it's and it was a I don't the cheap. Okay, this is several years ago. Your your cheap toilet was a hundred. Your expensive was three to three fifty. The middle of the road, it's great, two hundred dollars. They're probably more like two fifty now, but middle of the road, two to two fifty, two hundred fifty dollars for uh, an awesome toilet. You don't need the, the European style, three, $350, $400. I mean, you can go that way, but middle of the road is is awesome. Once you go European, you never go back. That's what <laughs> I am told. Um, American standard, there good, you go. good quality. I'm pretty sure that's what we have in our home. We're, I told Anna, our toilet seat is embarrassing that I sit on it for an hour once, at least once a week. Um, to record this, I said we need a we need a heavier duty toilet seat. This thing is thin plastic oh. idiocy. <clears throat> and do you have a a well? Two questions. Do you have a standard lid or the no slam or the quiet? Oh, the no slam toilet seat they call. We them. well we have a we have a no slam, but I I hate it. Oh, I love because them. they're thinner. Oh, I love them. They you you can drop it. In fact, I forget if you're at somebody's house and you forget and you let boom. go and slam. Yeah, and it's a no slam. Dude, I just, and I love them. I just them. yelled boom so loud that that light turned on. <laughs> that was the craziest thing ever. Uh, either or that a, or a fly. Either that or there's a g- 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 ghost in there. <laughs> um, that was wild. Sorry. You know, it takes if you want to sit down immediately. It takes a little while. You can push it down, but other than that, you just let it drop. Like in the middle of the night, you go and you just let it drop, and you know it slowly goes down. Yeah. It, they're gr- and it came with that particular toilet, but you. Could, I've bought them also as an a- afterthought. But they're but they're lighter, and I just feel less heavy duty. Oh well, I'm not. But and I'm not a heavy person. I know, so. but you're. I bet you don't often sit on the lid. No. I sit on yeah. it a lot, Michael. Oh. Oh, and like you record. Yeah. Like this. So at the school where we are now, um, they don't have a lid. Like there is <laughs> there is about eight <laughs> inches between my shorts and right. wet. Uh, and the only the only saving grace <laughs> is that we don't have get, an automatic flush right now. You can get back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm living a dangerous game. Oh. And this came up in one of your interviews, a squatty potty. Yeah. Everybody should own one. Do you own one? We do. We bought, they were really hot, like five or six, seven years ago. I mean, they had internet advertising everywhere. And we bought just the basic plastic and they were like $20, $25. You can buy bamboo, you can buy wood. It's really cool. But we just bought the basic one. And you sit on the toilet and you keep it there in the bathroom, right? And the, and you, it, does this it girds right? up your loins and i swear okay i think i get 20 percent more poop out than if i didn't use one at all this is part of the three minute poop it's, job so they this is evolution but they say evolutionary <laughs> but they say thousands of years ago we used to squat as humans yes okay whether you were on a toilet or not you would squat well that was a natural position your yeah, legs no, no, I, were, and and we've lost that with the modern day toilet I, my situation, I don't, need, I, don't, I don't need help. Like, it okay. comes pretty quick. I'm That's what she said. Squatty potty. Yep. Yeah. I can't, you have it's... one. Um, Michael, <laughs> once at the church, this is a story for you. Once at the church, I went, you know what? I'm going to try to squat this toilet. And I did it the worst way possible, which was I actually stood on the toilet. Like, I put my feet on the seat. And then I held on That's each, too high. <laughs> each hand on either like stall thing and I kind of like monkey perched it. And as I began to go, it came out so fast and it plopped and hit See? the water so hard that I got scared and like instantly just like yinked my butt and got down and went back to my normal <laughs> position because I was afraid of making a mess. <laughs> Did you see the stall walls in Claudic Hall bathrooms, boys? 
they're pulling away from the wall. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, so that is not that. me. That is not me. I did not do that. It's it's twenty five year old building, so um. Yeah. And there's used to be punk teens that used to reef on them. Oh yeah, yeah. Um I've hollered at them and they've gotten mad and don't want to be there anymore. So that's fine. Um Well, Michael. Thank you so much for doing this and letting me bombard you at the end of your work day. Oh, one yes. more. Yeah. Oh, so good. Um, so we've had both before. And standard toilet bowl or the elongated they oh, offer. You can buy an elongated. Elongated bowl. And I think the elongated are for, it's a larger surface area, so larger butts. Yeah. But I remember when they came out, um, Dad had elongated bowls, and I thought, ever, I thought this was everybody had them, and you'd go to other homes, and oh, you don't have an elongated bowl? What the heck? Yeah, it's like how come we have a better bowl than you do? There's some people that no size <laughs> so bowl will help. We have a standard right now, um, but we've had elongated. So either or, mm-hmm. hot, but no slam lid and uh squatty potty michael's perfect toilet no slam lid squatty potty yeah. and you can buy the cheap imitation i'm sure but squatty potty just google it here's an idea just buy a kid's footstool because <laughs> no. it's the same thing it's kids is lower you know squatty all it is higher. all it is is a glorified like birthing mm-hmm. stirrup yeah like you, you know how like when women a give step birth, stool would do the same yeah but women give birth and they like will put their legs in the stirrups <laughs> on the birthing bed that's literally what this is but it slides under your toilet like uh, it's the same thing and it just fits naturally there it's curved just perfect <laughs> and we have the intro audio sound for the episode Michael, thank you. Um, You're very welcome. It's it's been a long time coming. It's been a pleasure, and I'm I was very excited to get to do this. I'm um, I'm gonna do what I described to everybody as the the dog is taking a poop in the backyard and somebody's watching him and it looks awkward, but he has to do it, which is where I close the episode and do all the things with you sitting here. So thank you all for listening. Uh, as always, you can. Send us an email, privycast at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you. Episode suggestions, if you have a weird story, want to be on the show, whatever you want, send us an email, privycast at gmail.com. You can follow us on social media, tread lightly on the TikTok. We're at privycast. As always, we want to thank Kevin McLeod for the use of Barroom Ballet as our intro and outro music. You can find Kevin's music at incompetech.com, and his music is licensed under Creative Commons License Attribution 4.0. Thanks, Kevin. Can I say it with you? Yeah. This has been another episode of Privy. Thank you so much for joining us. And now, as always, don't, don't forget, forget to, to flush. flush. And then I'm going to scoot it on and just really aim it right in here. Okay.